Doctor Who, Short Trips, The World Beyond the Trees. Hi, Dad. This is me. This is Liv. Of course, I know you'll never get to hear this, but... You see, something's happened. Something which made me think of you. So much has changed since we last spoke, too hurriedly and too late. There's so much I could tell you, if only that were possible. Nixis 7, the Lorelei, the horizon at the end of the universe. But none of that's important, at least, well, at least it's not important now. You'd find this all far too vague, I know. I can imagine you peering at me over the rims of those glasses I was never sure you really needed and saying encouragingly, come on, Liv, deep breaths, arrange your thoughts logically, place them in the best order. So, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Just the way you taught me. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, sensibly and calmly, and with a level head. I woke up a few days ago from a dream of unusual clarity. It was vivid and precise and almost not much like a dream at all, more like something delivered from very far away, directly to my imagination. The doctor was in it, and he was standing in a rose garden. The doctor's a handsome man with close-cropped hair, and I suppose there are plenty who think he was dashing, even romantic. But not me. He's changed, you see, since I've known him, the first time we met. He's altered so much, and I know he's so much more complicated than he seems. Big finish. We love stories.